what is the most expensive thing in your apartment? Welcome back to the channel. If you weren't aware, we have a series on this channel where we take a look at people's Vancouver apartments. And today we're checking out my friend Steven's apartment in downtown in Yale Town. Steven and I met through social media because he also creates content and I saw a video of his where he showed off his apartment and I was like, yo, I gotta tour that. Yale Town is one of a few different neighborhoods in downtown. Originally a heavily industrial area with a lot of rail yards and warehouses. But around 1990, they decided to change that and now it's one of the most popular neighborhoods in the city. And did I just learn that from the internet? Yes, but that doesn't mean it ain't true. Marinas, parks, high rise apartment buildings, that's what you'll find in Yale Town. Hello everyone. Well, welcome to my space. Uh, my name is Steven. This is my apartment. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a tour of it. I do a lot of videos in my apartment anyways for like TikTok or other YouTube videos. So you might've seen those. But to start, in-suite laundry, super essential. There's not much to say here, but that it's, it's good <laughs> to have. I have a bathroom on the entryway as well. Behind me is my den, which has always been like a work in progress. So I painted it. Um, I never really even asked my landlord. I just kind of was like, well, I'll paint it back. I went for this like dark sort of like moss earthy green. Work in progress, we're getting there and it'll look nice and I'll do a video on it one day when it's all done. And then this is sort of the main hub of the house. This is kind of like the kitchen, eating area, living room. It's pretty much everything. So over here is your main little, you know, cooking spot. You got your stove. You got all this like above storage up here. Well, the one thing this apartment does not lack is storage. There's actually too much storage. Like I don't, I can't fill everything. Um, they actually upgraded my stove top at some point, which was nice. Also got a new dishwasher. <laughs> Yes, because they also upgraded that too. Along this wall, this was sort of the big upgrade from the last apartment is that he, this whole wall of storage pretty much. So the fridge is, you know, like in here, which is great with the freezer combination. All of this like literally is storage. Like this is like PR storage. So when PR boxes come in, you can't actually like, I don't know where to put everything. So if anyone ever, if I have friends over and looking for like hand cream or a face cream, I'm like, I have that. So here you go. So that works out pretty well. This is sort of my favorite part of the house. This is like, I don't know how you say that word, the piece de la resistance or whatever. Like this is sort of my main focus when I was like doing the, the space. I wanted like my friends over, I wanted to hang out. I wanted a space that like felt inviting and the old place was a lot smaller. So this place kind of feels a lot more open. Obviously it's a corner. So you have all this like light, which is kind of shitty because it's been raining for like a month straight pretty much. Okay. And then you have this nice neutral couch. The rug was sort of the biggest upgrade um, recently. And it's like a ruggable rug, which I've never had before. I'm really happy with it. Like, I have a question for you. Sure. How about these these books being... Yeah. Not with the spine. Um, is that... Is that yeah. So actually, some people have asked me this before on TikTok. It's honestly just a design thing because if you look here, if I turn them this way, it's very colorful. And I wanted it to be more neutral. So I just turned it this way, so it's kind of like white or like a light kind of beige. Um, so it's not this like bright like yellows and oranges because I didn't really want those. Most of the pieces in here are like CB2 or West Elm, but they've all been like sourced out of Marketplace or like other like shops. So I tried not to buy new except the couch. I didn't really want like an old couch necessarily. Beyond all that, everything has been sort of sourced out from somewhere else. So I found this piece that I really wanted from like a retailer somewhere and they were like all 700, like a thousand dollars. I just kept looking at it. And I was like, this is paint and a canvas. Like I cannot spend $800 on this. And I just got paint randomly and black paint, white paint, got a canvas and just put this together and it turned out okay. I like the way it looks. People kind of compliment it sometimes. I screwed up a little here, but... You don't have to show that part. No, don't show that part, but it works. So I tried to not spend a ton of money, which I still think I did, but it wasn't as bad. TV, entertainment, watch all that. That was a big thing too, because my previous place, we never had a TV, which was smart in the end. I do appreciate it. So this little piece over here is, I am actually starting a decor collection. This is one of the sample pieces that I got from the 
the company that's helping me do this. It's actually 3D printed. Their whole vision is like reducing like supply chain. So it's not like it's all made to order. So they like print products as you buy them. Main bedroom, my principal bedroom is pretty spacious. I want to say like, I'm pretty happy with it. There's not much that I really wanted to do in here. It wasn't like I had this uh, like grand vision for this room. I mean, you have all these like built-in cabinets, which is kind of annoying like because it just takes up so much space and it's really dark it's also really great storage and then you have a walk-in closet on this side as well i feel like there's more i would like to do but it's just a traditional principal bedroom if I, I don't know if i can call it a principal bedroom i think it's just a bedroom <laughs> like, and oh i also have uh, a balcony i didn't have a balcony before i had one of those like juliet balconies so it was just like the screen or the door opened up and you could like barely put a foot out but now i have an actual balcony and you can go out there, hang out. It was really kind of fun in the summer. So this little poof over here and some other pieces in the house, um, like the lamp and the side table are actually rented pieces. It's from this like local Vancouver company called Abacus Studio and they have the furniture and then you rent it out pretty much. If you are someone that's looking for like a piece or you're not sure, you don't have to like super invest into it. Uh, so there's this lamp and then that uh, side table. How much is the lamp like per month? Though? The lamp? Per month, maybe it comes to like 20 something dollars a month or like 11 or something. It depends on the, pr the base price. I am one of those millennials that like doesn't like plants. That's controversial. Sorry, I like plants. I'm not like the plant guy. This guy hates plants. <laughs> the thing is, I feel like plants hate me. I've had a few and they die and they require so much work. This plant is more high maintenance than me. It is actually growing. Like it was shorter before. And the best reason why this beautiful thing is growing is because it requires water once every 10 days. Work in progress down there? This whole thing? Yeah. Yes, be. but I have this under lighting, under counter lighting that I installed, so it can change colors. You can have red, blue, pink, whatever. That's me rambling about lights. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually asking about that painting. Oh my God, were you actually? Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. so fucking funny. This is even worse because this isn't even mine. Tell us a little bit about your space. My apartment is, I believe, 630, 635 square feet. My rent is 2,050, which includes parking and storage. This space is sort of nostalgic and special to me because it's my first like place that I like kind of like truly grew up in, if that makes sense. You know, really like figured my own stuff out, learned to be alone, designed my space how I wanted to do it. So. I'm attached to my space and I feel like it's been a really great experience. What do you do for work? So my full-time nine to five job, I work doing the social media strategy for a brokerage in Vancouver. And then I've also do YouTube work with them as well. I helped kind of launch their YouTube channel. So you might see those videos too. It's me kind of like touring random spaces within Vancouver. And then I also, additionally to that, I do my own social media. So I do content creation for myself, mostly through Instagram and TikTok now. Instagram in particular, I've been doing probably for six Six years now. What is the most expensive thing in your apartment? I would say the stools. Honestly, the stools. I don't even want to tell people how much I spent on them. I stand by my decision. I'm happy about them. Tips for interior design. I always want to preface it's like I'm not like this like interior designer. I just like have an interest in it and I really like it. Keep things as like light as possible or you know draw your eye up to make the space feel large. It really depends what you're looking to do. Don't break the bank you know, secondhand. If you're gonna buy something that you really want, make sure you it's something you really want and you're really gonna like it. And also the last one, just have fun. If it's your space, have fun and get crafty too. Like I'm not the biggest craftiest person, but I made this painting because I liked it. What do you love about Vancouver and why Vancouver? Uh, you can live somewhere and you have access to different neighborhoods. Things are close by, transit's really good. You know, you can go to Yaletown, you can go to Cole Harbor, you can go to Mount Pleasant, all those things. And even if you wanna do other things like explore Whistler or, you know, Cypress or Seymour, those things aren't far. And the accessibility with like apps like Evo are great. So those are one of the main things I love. And then I feel like I've built a little bit of a family here and I love the people that I've made friends with. So that's always been really nice. <laughs> nice.